Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My fiance's birthday is coming up so I figured I would do a video on what I got him for his birthday. It's raining. Ooh, it's like really raining. Well, thank God I'm stuck in here. So I started doing these videos around Christmas. I did one about what we got for Jonah and I also did one of what I got my fiance for Christmas. So his birthday is right around the corner. So I figured I would do a video on what I got for his birthday. And I was actually pretty good about getting all of his stuff in advance and not only just for this video because honestly, I didn't think about doing this video until maybe like a week or two ago but honestly like i set a reminder on my phone like a month before his birthday like saying like bitch like get your stuff together like his birthday's in a month like get it done because i just feel like i'm always so like last minute with all his gifts all the time and all this stuff and so <laughs> this year i was just like man like i don't want to be that way i don't want to be like rushing and trying to figure out like oh my god is he gonna like this and then you end up getting something that's not really like thoughtful and i'm not saying that that's what's been happening the past few years i don't get him thoughtful gifts but i've survived and i've gotten this far but yeah i'm really proud of myself because like i said i'm done with everything and it was so funny i called jonah into the room last night to show him everything and then after i was done showing him everything i was kind of like that's it like that's all I got him and so I'm trying to like get some reassurance and confirmation from my eight-year-old that this is okay and this is gonna be fine because I was asking him I was like oh my god Jonah like is like this doesn't seem like a lot like do you think this is fine like do you think he's gonna like love everything but of course Jonah like he's like yeah Oh my god he's like yeah daddy's gonna love everything and but you know like he's just a kid but you have to understand like he's like my bff without further ado let's get into it and hopefully i can maybe give you some ideas for your man i don't know if they have the same interests but you never know but i don't know about y'all but sometimes it is hard to shop for them because literally i asked him what he wanted and he told me socks and so it's like, no, like, I'm not just going to buy you socks on your birthday. Granted, would I be happy with socks on my birthday? Uh, yeah. And if you've seen my Christmas videos, like, you know, I love socks. I love fuzzy socks. So, like, I would not be mad if you bought me socks. I mean, if that was the only thing you got me, like, oh, I don't know. Maybe throw a candle in there or something. But, but I mean, overall, socks, uh, to me, like, it's a good gift i don't know i feel like i always need socks and then michael too like you know he's always working he's very athletic so he's always working out and so you know you're always wearing socks and so wear and tear and so you're gonna have to throw them out you need new ones so if you want to see what i got my fiance for his birthday please keep watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you all right so this first item so one of my cousins got michael for secret santa and she ended up buying him this really nice golf shirt and it really wasn't even too pricey because the ones that i've been looking at like they're like under armor adidas like they're so expensive and you probably heard me talk about this already in the christmas video because they really are expensive they're like 65 dollars like i i have yet to master the trick to get those discounted like i don't know like i said i was gonna start using like my dick's rewards at dick's sporting goods but that has not been going so well so if you have any tips for me on how to get you know discounted like brand name like golf polo shirts for men please comment down below and let me know i am all ears i'm open for it granted like michael he's not too picky i think he maybe has like a couple under armor he has a nike adidas one so he has a pretty nice collection of golf shirts oh so i guess i would know what size he is in those brands because he does wear them all the time. And so the brand that she got him is this BCG. It's from Academy. And so they have a bunch of different colors. And I want to say, how much was it? I think it was only like 20 bucks. Yeah, $19.99. And so $20, I mean, when you're balling on a budget, like I always think I am. I don't know, I love to shop the clearance racks and I love when I can find a shirt for like $5 and, and like that's just me, like I don't know. But obviously if I do want something really bad, 
I'll pay full price for it. After seeing how much Michael loved the shirt, and I don't think he's ever had one of this brand, and so he just loved it. He wore it maybe like two or three times to go golfing. He was literally like washing it just so he can wear it the next weekend when he goes golfing again. And so the one that she got him, it's a pretty maroon color. Oh my God, he looks so hot in it. I love when he wears it. Oh my God, especially with khaki pants because he's been wearing it to work sometimes, like on his casual days. And so of course they had, you know, the blacks and grays, but he already has like black and gray ones. And then, you know, if it's a sunny, hot day, like I don't want him to be wearing black out there because, you know, black just absorbs the heat and I don't want him to be hot. But I mean, this one, I mean, it's not too dark, not too light. It's kind of like a, a dark teal, dark turquoise color. I figured it's a nice color to, you know, wear out golfing. So I got him this. Super excited about that. So this next thing I got him, it's a pair of joggers from, I ordered them online at Guest Factory because, and I'm sorry, I'm telling you business, babe. So the ones he's been wearing, he's had them for I don't know how long, but there's like a big hole in the, in one of the knees and he just, he still wears them. He has no shame and that is fine because I've told Jonah before too, like, cause Jonah, he's like, I think I went to like a birthday parade one time and he was wearing like one of his white t-shirts with a dinosaur on it. Uh, don't ask me why I even buy my son white shirts. I don't know. Wait, or was it a gift? I think it was a gift. But still, it was a nice shirt and then it fit him nice and so, you know, he put it on and then he ended up getting sprayed with silly string. And so when we got home, he had all this, you know, all the little like, it was like a blue splatter. It looked like someone kind of just splattered his shirt with like a paintbrush with blue paint on it. And so I figured, I'm like, oh, well, let me just throw it in the washer like right now and it'll be done. And so I get it out. Those stains did not come out. So... He's not allowed to wear that shirt outside of the house, but can he wear it inside the house when he's playing and like rolling around in the dirt outside and the grass? Like, yeah, cause it's already ruined. But my thing is like, it fit him well, it fit him good. So yeah, I kept it so he could just wear it around the house. Obviously when he grows out of it, I'm gonna throw it away. But so that's kind of my thing. Like if, you know, it's, ruined but it still fits i mean just save it like to wear around the house like i don't know don't ask me but yeah michael has taken these joggers like to the extreme like the band is messed up and the whole like like i said so my poor baby like he needs new joggers but he loves that brand he loves the way that they fit and so sometimes like you don't want to go off brand because i think i bought him a pair of joggers it was like an off name brand i bought it at like marshall's and they just did not fit him comfortably and not good and i totally get that because i've been there before like i buy something you know that i thought would fit me and that's my size and i get it and it's like oh. and so it turns out like oh well that brand just doesn't work for me so like i'm just gonna have to stick to this brand when i buy this type of clothing and so that's what i had to do with this and so i got them these joggers or guess I don't think I want to put him on blast with his size, but they're really nice. Like they're gray, it's like a really dark charcoal color. So they're pretty cool. And then there's like a pocket in the back. They're really similar to the ones he has now. So I'm really excited. But the ones he has now, it has like this leather band and it looks pretty cool and really fashionable, but I could not find any like that on the website. So this is what's happening i think he'll be happy with this and i don't even know if i want to tell you how much i paid for these <sighs> they were 44 dollars. <laughs> but i mean it's worth it because like i said he's been wearing those other ones for i don't know how long and they've lasted this long i think the hole just came about <laughs> maybe like two or three weeks ago and those are just like his go-to pants that he loves wearing like around the house so so these will probably last a long time no i'm just kidding we got his socks <laughs> we got this six pair no show socks so i got him no show because i think that's just what he likes that's what i like i got these at kohl's i think they were like 15 or 20 bucks but he's getting his socks Oh, and it was so funny. So this fool, he asked me for socks and then he asked me for a monitor stand for his computer monitor at work. And I was like, uh, you need to ask the company to pay for your 
monitor stand. Like, I ain't buying you one. But then, you know, I thought about it. I'm like, oh, he really wants it. So let me just get it for him. Because I don't know why he wasn't asking his company to buy it. And so one thing, I'm going to buy it for him. Then I'm going to tell him if and ever you should quit that job or whatever you better not forget that stand because uh we bought it okay so i ordered him that that should be coming today but it was it's just really like a simple like monitor stand i'll input a picture here of what it looks like this is his big gift especially after he told me oh i just i want socks I'm like really like no i'm not just gonna buy you socks for your birthday and so i was really struggling like on what to get him though because i've been getting him like cologne and so he has some nice colognes already like i feel like he has a good set of cologne and so i was like man i really don't want to get him cologne again i mean i can save that for like i don't know christmas or something <laughs> so i'm like giving away all my ideas <laughs> if he watches this he's really okay so he loves golf right and but i just bought him some golf balls for valentine's day some nice bright red ones if you haven't watched that video go watch it i'm just tired of buying him like golf balls all the time i bought him golf balls for christmas i got it for valentine's day so i'm just tired of like golf stuff and maybe i could have bought him like new golf clubs like i don't know i haven't done the research on how much those really cost i don't really know how like expensive those would be but i know that's something he would like so i at least got him his golf shirt because like i said i knew how much he loves that brand and the way that it fits and so i messaged his cousin because another thing that he has been doing lately is playing on his xbox that all of us girlfriends and wives love so much Yes, I know you're probably like, well, at least you know where he is and he's at home. And yes, yes, I get it. But it's like, ugh. like, can you just come sit with me on the sofa and we just like stare at each other? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, because like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like there is some nights that he knows that he's been playing too much. And so he'll just sit on the sofa and like watch TV with me, like a couple episodes of The Office. And then he'll go back to his dungeon. I mean, room to play Xbox. Babe, if you're watching this, I do appreciate you just sitting on the sofa with me and watching The Office with me. And I love you. So I messaged, okay, sorry, we're getting like off track. So I messaged his cousin, because I know Michael, he hasn't really bought anything for the Xbox, like any accessories. I know that he had bought him and Jonah like some new headsets, I think right before Christmas, but they were like really needing them. Because Michael had always been buying like the ones from like Walgreens that are like 10 and $15 and so they're always breaking. And so, and I just under like I just realized that he was doing that. I was like, why are you, why do you keep buying like these cheap sets? Like, cause I haven't done the research. I don't really know how much a good set costs. And then, you know, if you're gonna pay that much money for a headset, you wanna make sure you're getting good quality too. So I haven't done the research. I don't know how much to pay for a good headset. And so we quickly did some research that week and then we ended up going like that night, I think to Best Buy. And then he went ahead and just bought, you know, two good headsets for both of them. So he has his headset, he's all set there. He has these little purple things that you put on the controllers that helps you play better. I can't remember what they're called. Something to do with like a grip or something. I don't know. So he has those. And then he just set up Jonah's gaming chair, but Michael fits in it. So, so he's been using that. And so I'm just like, man, like what else could a gamer like possibly want besides a gaming PC? Because that was out of the question. Those were really expensive. I looked that up and I was like, uh, no, not this birthday. Sorry. So I texted his cousin and I thought about it. I was like, oh my God, like Michael's been talking about this controller, but I forgot what controller it was because there's so many controllers out there and so I, I text messaged his little cousin and I asked him like hey can you pretend that you're shopping for a new controller and then can you ask Michael which one he would want or he would get and so it was so funny so he messaged me back he's like yeah I got you and he writes back to he's like I've actually been looking for a new controller so this all works out I was like oh okay cool so he texts me back that it's the Xbox Elite Series too i was so happy that michael's cousin well i guess like my cousin too we're all family um that he helped me with this because like i said i was having such a hard time like trying to figure out what to get for him and so obviously like this will be his big gift because i don't know if i want to tell you how much i paid for this either no i'm just kidding no but he deserves it especially like if i'm just getting him all this 
other like knickknack stuff like eh. so this will be his big gift i'm super excited i hope he likes it even though i mean it is the one that he did tell his cousin so i mean he should like it i don't get the whole like i don't know like i said i need to get in on this gaming stuff i don't understand if it's gonna make a difference or not the way he plays i don't know so yeah, if your boyfriend, fiance, or husband does gaming, I thought that this was a great idea because the controllers that Michael has, it's still the ones that came with the Xbox, so they're pretty standard. And we've had the Xbox for years. Oh, I think he actually did buy a controller. Maybe, I think it was last year he bought one, but it was not this one. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a little upgrade from the standard ones, but it's not the Xbox Elite Series 2. I know that for sure because I would have I would have seen that price tag. This is his big gift. So he did tell me, you know, he wanted socks, but then, you know, he also did mention something about a controller, but he was like it's too expensive, like don't get it. But we are coming up on a year now that I've been laid off and <laughs> I still am laid off. So he's just been, you know, dealing with a lot and he's just really like been there for me and then really like my number one supporter like through all of this because I have worked ever since I was like 16, 17 years old and so for all of that to kind of just come crashing down within a matter of like you know you're living on edge for like two or three weeks and you're just wondering like well when is my day coming and then like that day came and i just remember like <laughs> of course like he's always there for me he's been there for me all the time but like specifically like this year has just been you know the most important year that i have needed his support and his love and so that's why like even when he he had mentioned something about a controller like i was just like man like i gotta find out you know what controller it is and like i'm just gonna get it for him i mean not just because oh he's been so supportive blah 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 but i mean like it's his birthday and who doesn't want to feel loved and appreciated on their birthday now i'm not saying expensive gifts or everything like no it's not but like i said like i just feel like he <laughs> deserves something nice kind of for having to put up with me this past year <laughs> Because yeah, to me, like, that's a lot of money. Like, I don't know about y'all, but to me, that's a lot of money for like what it is. So, <laughs> but I think he'll appreciate it. And so those were all kind of like the gifts, gifts, but also I tried to get like all of his like favorite snacks and favorite candy. And I'm probably just gonna put it in a gift bag or a little basket for him. Got kind of some hot Cheetos with lime, he loves these. He loves the candy bar Take 5, but I couldn't find just a plain Take 5. It was just Reese's Take 5 everywhere. But he has brought these home before, the Reese's ones, so I know he'll like them. But oh my god, I love these too. So I'm going to eat some too. He loves Chewy Ropes. I got him some Chewy Ropes. And then got him these Haribo Sour Streamers. He loves these things too. And mind you, these were all found at like Dollar Tree. This was a dollar. This was a dollar at Walmart. These were like $1.50 each at Walmart. I got these at Walmart. <laughs> so he loves these and oh my God, like I feel like we all grew up on like Little Debbie snacks. But these treats are just something that we really don't buy or keep in the house like on a daily basis. Like we'll buy it maybe like once or twice a month or not even. And so I figured this would be a nice treat for him because these are like his favorite and I see why. I used to love these things when I was little. He loves pickle chips. <laughs> I wanted to get him a different brand because I know that there's a better brand out there of pickle chips, but honestly, I went to Walmart. I actually went to a gas station because I figured gas stations have, like, they're like the mecca for, like, snacks. But they actually didn't have any uh, pickle chips. They did have some weird good flavors, but just not pickles, so I was so sad, so... He's just gonna have to deal with this. But I think I mean, he'll still love it and appreciate it. I mean, it's, it's Pickle Pringles. And also I got him birthday cards, of course. So this one is gonna be from Jonah. It says, best dad ever. And then protector, defender, hero, friend. Happy birthday to a guy who's all the super stuff rolled into one. Aww. So I need to have Jonah sign that soon. And then mine says, for my husband, cause I mean, basically he's my husband. I mean, okay. We do still need the piece of paper, I know, for all you people. He's not your husband, but I mean, basically he is. Okay, for my husband, I'm so thankful I have you. The world has changed a lot, and so have we. 
Since we first met, we've shared some sad, really sad, and funny times, a lot of funny times, and years we won't forget uh, that it has like these two people on a bench. Uh. When all is said and done, there's one unchanging thing that's true with every year. I find myself more thankful I have you. Have a wonderful birthday. I thought that was really fitting for me because I am all about like when I'm sitting down with Jonah like before we go to bed and when he just he's kind of stuck and like doesn't know like what to pray for even though there's a lot to pray for but I don't know if this happens to you or not it's like when you're thinking about it during the day you're like oh my god I need to pray for this person that person for this situation that situation but then when you get down to it like when, when you get down to it and you're like okay god and then like I feel like you just forget everything and you're like oh shit, like what did I say I was gonna pray for? When that happens, I just tell Jonah, like we'll just, you know, give thanks to God, like for everything that you're thankful for. And so every day, like I'm just so thankful for Michael. It's like, I don't think God will ever understand how thankful I am for him. <laughs> because like, I don't know, of course we have our moments, like everybody has their moments, but it's like at the end of the day, he's just been like a really like amazing father. And like, I'm sorry, I'm like tearing up. I swear I'm not gonna cry. Or like a really amazing partner because of course in the beginning, like it's all lovey-dovey, you're in the honeymoon phase, blah, blah, blah. But then it's like, as the years go on, your relationship kind of becomes like a partnership. Of course, like you still love that person. You know, you gotta keep that factored in there. Like the love component and the romance component. But I feel like, you know, a marriage like is also a partnership. Like you have to have that support from your person because you're kind of doing life together. <laughs> like you're raising this child together. Like you're building, you know, this family, this life together. But yeah, just like I said, I don't think God will ever understand like how grateful and thankful I am like for this man that he has sent to me and put on my path. <laughs> so yeah, I just try to make his birthday special like as much as I can because he deserves it. Oh my God, I almost forgot. <laughs> I bought him some lottery tickets. That's when I went to the corner store because he loves scratch, well, not lottery tickets, but like scratch offs. So he loves the, so I just bought like three $5 ones. I figured that would be a nice surprise because I'm always getting mad at him when I find out he buys like a $10 one at the gas station. I'm like, why did you buy a $10 scratch off? This is gonna be <laughs> a shock to him because like I said, I always get mad at him for buying them and so he's gonna be like oh my god like she actually bought them for me what and also i get a cut of course if he wins anything those are gonna go in his birthday cards and so the day before his birthday i'm gonna go to this little cupcake place that i always go to for his birthday i always go and buy like four cupcakes and you know the morning of his birthday we sing happy birthday to him me and jonah like right when he wakes up so i like to have a little cupcake for that and then of course, I'm gonna go buy him some balloons and then also his favorite ice cream. <laughs> he loves the Haagen-Dazs caramel cone, so I'm gonna buy that, wrap it up, hide it in the freezer. So, you know, he could just have it for like, I don't know, a midnight snack or something. So yeah, I just wanted to try to get all of his like little favorite snacks and I know that's like one of his favorite ice creams. Oh my God, it's like mine too. You need to try it if you have not tried it. It's the Haagen-Dazs caramel cone. Oh my God, it's vanilla ice cream and they have chunks of like a broken cone dipped in chocolate and it's in the ice cream oh my god it's so good and then another one of his favorite things are the chocolate chip cookies from chick-fil-a so i'm gonna go get those two when i go get his balloons just a little bit more running around to do but it's all good at least i knocked out like the bulk of everything and so the day before i'm literally just gonna go do all that stuff and so we should be all set all right everyone so that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed if so please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below any of your birthday gift recommendations or suggestions i am open to anything also please don't forget to hit that subscribe button bye